Um, but as you guys recall from before break, N stood for the number of sides. So if I'm looking at a polygon, say for a four-sided polygon called a quadrilateral, right? I can divide that quadrilateral into two triangles. And so if something had four sides, we said that we can subtract two and get two triangles and times it by 180 and get that that's supposed to be 360 degrees. That if I added the inside angle, this angle here, this angle, this angle, and this angle, that I should get 360 degrees. We explored that with the Pentagon and saw that there was three triangles. So a five-sided figure ended up with three triangles. So it fit the description of the formula, five minus two times 180 is 540. So that was all about the interior angles adding up to a certain uh, sum and that sum given by this formula. There's going to be another formula that I, or another statement I'm going to give you down below here. And I'd like you guys to just record it here so that it's together. Um, so above here, if, if uh, you have space uh, somewhere in the box, can you guys um, put some of interior angles so that you know this is this formula is in reference to the angles inside the polygon. Okay, sum of interior angles. And then down below there, I'm going to have you guys add um, a sentence that I'm going to have you box as well, because the sum of exterior angles also happens to um, be an interesting uh, discovery when I show you guys the applet. Okay, so the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. So this in itself is not a formula. It's just to say if I add all the exterior angles of a polygon, that it's going to always end up with 360 no matter how many sides I have. So go ahead and box that. Okay, and so what do I mean about the exterior angle? So you guys all know the interior angles. I'm gonna highlight the interior angles of that pentagon and show you guys what the exterior angle is. So the formula, the first formula that we talked about said that if we added all those yellow angles, those interior angles, I should get 540 degrees. The exterior angles, I'm going to draw in pink. So if, let's say you guys took the top right side of that pentagon and you extended it uh, out in that direction. So the exterior angle would be the pink angle right there. Okay, and if you kind of follow it like a ninja star where you guys go what, like this is one side and then you go to the next side and extend that out in the opposite direction, that's the other exterior angle. And then keep going with that, keep drawing the exterior angle and you guys will see what I mean by a ninja star. Okay, so that angle here, that angle, this angle and this angle. Um, the idea is that no matter how many uh, sides you guys have, if you were to add all those pink angles together, it, it should always be equal to 360 degrees. Okay, not dependent on sides. Um, so I, I'm gonna show you guys a, an app that has um, a decagon and why that's true as well. So let me do a new share and then, okay, can you guys see the decagon um, that I have here? Is that what you guys see right now? Can someone confirm on the chat? Okay, thank you. All right, Decagon is 10-sided figure. And you guys can see the exterior angle drawn um, are those colored angles, the green angles, the yellow angles, pink, all of those, in theory, if you were to add it together, should be equal to a fixed constant value of 360 degrees. Now, can someone in the chat type out to me, what else is 360 degrees that you guys can think of? What other shapes? that you know of also equals 360 degrees. Okay, good, a quadrilateral, and some people said a circle. Very good, so let me go ahead and slide this. Um, do you guys see the slider here? What I'm gonna do is reduce um, the size of the, the decagon so that the sides kept, keep getting reduced. And as they get reduced, you guys will notice that the angle measures stay the same. So I'm kind of doing it slowly, but the angle measures don't shrink. Um, the side lengths do, but the angle measures still stay the same. So if you're looking at each one of the pairs of angles that are created, they're exactly the same measures as the original, only the side lengths are shrinking. And as, as we do that, as we um, decrease the side length, maintain the interior angle or exterior angles, we see that it collapses into a circle. And so no matter how many sides you guys have, 
those exterior angles should always add up to 360 degrees. And that, um, if it wasn't clear before, I mean, that uh, shows you guys that that's uh, the reason why it stays that constant value. Um, so let me go back to my iPad. And um, for now, if you guys can take out a, a sheet of paper or you guys can just write on the back side of this if you have um, space on uh, the back side of this page, page three, go ahead and use that. And then I am going to scroll down to a blank sheet of paper. Okay, and then at the top, we're gonna write out um, some of interior and exterior angles of a triangle. I'm oh, sorry, of a polygon. Okay, so um, as I write this out, we're going to do example number one. I believe we have a total of four examples here. Um, what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to use one of two formulas. We're going to either use the sum of the interior angles or exterior angles for these problems. And the first one, um, I'm going to say it's okay for you guys to use a calculator for this. So if you have your phone available and it has a calculator option, it just we just need the basic calculator, not a scientific one. As Or you have an actual calculator, go ahead and take that out. Um, the first one that we're asked to do an example on is find the sum of the interior angles of a 22 gone. So when we say 22 gone, it, that, that just means a um, that number that is represented right there is the number of sides of that polygon. So they just put the number and then they put gone at the end of it. Kind of like pentagon where penta means five. Um, instead in that place we see a number and that just means there's no special name for that because it's just too big of a, um, uh, of a polygon, too many sides. All right, so since this is asking for a sum of interior angles, I'm gonna underline that. Then I would um, write out the formula. Yes, and if you guys can go ahead and see if you can figure out what that sum is and type it into the chat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the formula and then have you guys type it into the chat. Good, Brooke. What is the sum of the interior angles of this 22 gone? Good, Annie. So then you're going to make sure if you guys didn't know that um, this is the parentheses is simply to say that you guys subtract two from 22 first and then times it by 180. Very nice, you guys, it's 3,600 degrees. So if I'm looking at um, a polygon with 22 sides, I know that the interior angles add up to 3,600. Okay, that I would expect you guys to be able to get to perhaps even without that example. For example number two, Sometimes they go on to, um, actually before you guys write example number two, let me define a word for you. Um, that definition is the word regular uh, polygon. Okay, some of you might know and the other kids in the other classes got to this definition with just some of my prodding, but if I had you guys describe to me what you think, if you know the definition, you know the definition, but if you don't know the definition, what, what might you think a uh, regular means? Like a regular polygon, if a polygon descri is described as regular, what do you think the word regular means? Take a guess. If you don't know the definition, it's okay. What might it mean? Okay, we have ordinary, nothing special. Anything else? What do you guys think? Okay, so some people just said uh, ordinary, which is, it does sound like it's just, or, that's what regular means, right? Um, someone said all the qualities of a normal polygon. Polygon. Um, let me push you guys further on that. Like what would make something normal? like that is consistent with all of, okay, so someone has an idea but not really sure how to describe it. Um, 
if something is like a regular shape, okay, so something's like a regular shape, fits all the description. Oh, okay, okay, this is what the other class went down in this, this path that Will just mentioned. Okay, so he said a square. And a square, I'll, I'll lead with that, okay? A square is a regular polygon. Okay, what makes a square a regular, you think? What, so now that you know a square is a regular polygon, what do, you, what do you think makes it regular? Okay, good. It has all equal sides. Very good. And then how about the angles of a square? Okay, they're all 90 degrees. Very good. They're all equal to each other. And so that's it, you guys. A regular polygon is um, a polygon with polygon with um, congruent angles and sides. And so why that's significant is that when we talk about the interior angles, there is no um, there's no requirement for that polygon for us to use this formula for that polygon to be regular. It could be any uh, polygon that has 22 sides. All 22 sides can be different, but we know that the angles inside have to add up to 3,600. Now, if, um, if we went further with this question, for example, number two, and it says um, that if the 22 gone is regular, And that is the only time we're able to answer a question like this. If the 22 gone is regular, then find the measure of each interior angle. And I wanna see if I can push you guys to, um, to tell me how you would solve for this. If the 22 gone is regular, then find the measure of each interior angle. What might you think you'd do for this problem? Go ahead and type it into the chat. If you know that the 22 gone we just solved for is regular, um, how would you guys find the measure of each angle? Oh, and they're asking for the interior angle, right? For the interior angle. Okay. You find the measure. This is the uh, what someone just typed in. You find the measure of all of the interior angles, which is a value that we did find. And you divide it by the number of angles. And the number of angles also has to be the number of sides. So very good, 3,600 divided by two. So we're gonna put, um, if you want to, if you guys like the formula there, I'm gonna say the sum divided by the number of sides. All right, so um, in the chat, I see 3,600 divided by 22. To the nearest 10th on your calculator, you guys, uh, that's approximately equal to, let me change that. So it's approximately equal to, uh, what is that value on your calculator? Each one of the interior angles must be equal to approximately to the uh, nearest tenth. Okay, good. The ones coming through are correct. Okay, so it's approximately 163.6 degrees. So again, in theory, if I took that value and times it by 22, I should get back to 3,600. Okay, so now um, for the other type of interior angle uh, question, let's say they gave you guys, uh, it's, it's gonna ask you guys to work a little backwards here. Okay, so not related to the above. So they tell you each angle of a regular polygon is 157.5 degrees. And in parentheses, you guys can put, um, I meant for it to be interior angles. Uh, how many sides does the end gone have? End gone is just like the 22 gone. N just means N number of sides. So that's going to be the variable we try to solve for.
Okay, so you guys have um, the measure of each one of the angles. So let's think backwards a little bit. Okay, this is the measure of each one of the interior angles. And we have um, basically the answer that we had from the previous problem. And they want me to they want me to solve for the number of sides, which in this case, what variable do they want me to solve for you guys? What represents the number of sides? Okay, good. So we, we need an equation with n in it. Okay, so let's work backwards here. So if they're giving me 157.5 is the measure of each interior angle, then what we're to do is to figure out what n is equal to. So let's say you guys, well, you know, working backwards, we have, we have s over n is equal to 157.5. Well, the problem is we have an s here, but we want just n. So how did we come up with 3600? How do we come up with 3,600? What's something else that I can replace S with? What's S equal to? Scroll, um, look all the way up again. What was S equal to? Okay, S was the sum, right? This is the sum formula up above here. Okay, and notice the sum formula that we have has N in it as well. Um, so we can simply just replace that sum formula with what we know it to be, which is N minus two times 180. All over N is equal to 157.5. And so we can view this as a proportion in which we can cross multiply and um, solve for um, so what I'd like you guys to do, since this is algebra after this, can you guys go ahead and solve to make sure that you distribute that 180 and tell me what you guys get for the value of n. And then go ahead and type it into the chat once you guys get what the number of sides is for this polygon. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I made this mistake in the other one. I hope you guys didn't um, copy my uh, cross multiplication, but when you cross multiply 157 times N, you should have an N there as well, right? 157 N. Good. The ones coming through are correct. Okay, so once you guys distribute 180, you guys have 180n minus 360. Since you have two uh, expressions with n's in it, we're going to subtract 180n to the other side and get negative 360 is equal to negative 22.5n. And then at that point, divide through by negative 22.5. And very nice, uh, we get n is 16. So that is the number of sides that you guys have on that polygon. Okay, and our last example, we don't do much with exterior angles because it's a pretty straightforward calculation that you have. Um, so on this one, um, our last example, example number four, is um, find the measure of each exterior angle 
of a 20 gun. So a 20 sided polygon. Okay, so first three examples were all interior angles and now we're talking about exterior angles and always envision that applet um, that shows you guys it all collapses any type of um, uh, polygon that you guys have it, it, it will collapse down to a, um, a circle right so 360 degrees is the sum so we don't even have to calculate the sum it's something that's given to us we know it's 360 degrees and um, we're going to assume that you can only do this if it's a regular polygon otherwise the interior angles are all going to be different measures and the exterior angles would be different we would know that the sum is 360 but we wouldn't know what each one of the angles are unless they're all equal to each other. So can you guys type into the chat, what would you guys do to find the measure, the number, uh, or sorry, the uh, measure of each exterior angle? What would you do here? Good, keep typing you guys. What would you do to figure out the measure of each one of the exterior angles, assuming it's the same? All right, you guys, so you said sum, which is uh, 360 degrees divided by the number of sides, which is 20. Very good. And then the zeros cancel out. Two goes into 36 18 times. So 18 degrees is the measure of each one of the exterior angles. All right, so um, nice job on that. Uh, 